You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rome. And I said that doesn't taste like beef, it tastes more like chicken. Mm. Mm. Oh. Hello there, you beasts of beauty. How are you? Do you just call me a beast? Of beauty. Mm. I'm not convinced that's a, a compliment. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, she was pretty. He was rich. Actually, that's okay. Mm -hmm. What have you got for us this week, Mike, on the Abuzz? Um, just some bits that I found on the internet, for including two food-related stories. Oh, shite. On screen now, you can see our contact info. Yep, it's at The Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us, thecud.tv for our website, and on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing The Cud and hit subscribe. And as names bobble along on the bottom of the beautiful briny screen, we plunge into the depth of the showbiz with Lee. Bit of JC showbiz news. JC? The JC. GC. GC. I can letters. never pronounce that right. I don't know. GC. Not JC. JC is something very different <laughs> to GC. Yeah, it is. So GC. GC, yeah. The GC, the Gemma Collins. She's had some now, it says here stunning home renovations. <laughs> now I'm gonna put I'm gonna use the brackets, stunning home renovations. So she has given her her swimming pool mm. a GC sparkle makeover. I'm not mad at it actually. So, um, we've got a picture of her in her pool, pre... Well, she's not in her pool, she's about to go in her pool. Okay. She's on a giant lolly. Okay. Um, that, Has she had some work done? I think they think so, probably. And there's the obligatory filters and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. She had um, her swimming pool redone. Now, she doesn't have an, a swimming pool that's dug into the ground. Okay. It's an on the ground swimming pool. So, it's an above ground swimming Above pool. ground swimming pool. Yes. So she's, she's they're classy, then. Are they classy? Oh yeah, super classy. It's just like a paddling pool, isn't it? A giant paddling pool. Um, so what she's done is, she's had a blue turquoise shimmer wall erected around its circumference. There's one word that got me excited there, and it was erected. Erected. Yes. We've got a picture of it here. I quite like it. Obviously it's got her initials on it, but it's so tacky. It is, but she is tacky. I, I'd like that with LR around my paddling pool. I could do that. So yeah, she's had that. Um, apparently her, her uh, mansion is like, she has a 1.35 million pound mansion. Okay. Six. How, how has that happened? Well, that's not actually a lot of house. It's, it's not a house. Well, no, because it's you say one point three. One point three five. One point three five. Yeah. Okay. Can't forget the fifty thousand <laughs> <laughs> million pounds. Yeah. So one is the million. One million. Point three. That's three hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. So the five is fifty thousand. Okay, so it's still quite a lot of money. Well, it's a lot of money. Yeah. But yeah, it's like calm down on fifty grand. Yeah. Um, in Essex. Is that not is that not a lot for Essex? It's 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 a lot of money, but I bet it's not a lot of house. Okay, she's got like a barn and quite a lot of garden. Because this okay. made me laugh. It said the diva forever star has opted for a gorgeous rose tunnel in the garden to create a floral sanctuary. That's not a euphemism. That's it is, that it is, genuinely it is, is, a, is a is a is a t is a tunnel for her roses. Um, she also has a statue of a, a, a life size statue of a horse with a disco ball in its mouth. We've got a picture of it. Again, I'm not mad at that. I'd have that in my garden. Look at that. I mean, that's her. She's not the horse. Um, but the horse is behind her holding a disco ball. That's I, I'm, I'm up for that. No, you're not. No. No. It's awful. It's the, it is, this is the only time I have ever gone, I actually agree with something that Gemma Collins is, is, is put out there and put in a show. May not happen again. This is where it all goes wrong for me because she opens she then, her mouth. Yeah, then she starts talking about what she's doing next. So she's had a garden done, uh -huh. and now her next project mm. is getting pregnant. Um, not in the garden. Could it possibly be in the garden? I don't. From the horse? Not from the horse. From a from. She has a boyfriend now. Not Arge. Another one. 
Okay. Yeah. But she wants to do it all on television. Because why not? What is it all on television? I don't know about the, the actual conception. conception, but you wouldn't put it past. Um, yeah, she wants to, she's, it's going to be called Gemma Collins Making the Baby. No. No, 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 no. no we, don't, we, don't, we don't want it. We don't need it. Just go away, have a baby, be a Or mom. not. Or not. Or not. Yeah. Just focus on, on making yourself a better person. I mean, she does have a condition that means it's very difficult for her to have children. Selfishness. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. It's like um, a like... bad attitude. <laughs> no, she has a, a lady's problem. Oh right, okay. a medical problem. A medical That's problem. Actual, yeah. Okay. Which I can That's imagine sad. that would be helpful for other women to kind of understand. Yeah. But we don't need to see the ins and outs, especially uh, the ins. No. So yeah, that's her next next project. Okay. Mm. But I like a I like her swimming pool. That's not a euphemism well, either. Well, you you like the covering around her swimming. Yeah. Pool. Uh, there, there is pictures of her in the swimming pool. It's quite nice. Okay. Yeah, you're not convinced. Okay. I know that you were a massive Peter Andre fan back in the day. I was indeed. Mm. But now it is the new generation that is coming up. So his son, Junior Andre, uh -huh. has signed a massive record deal with Columbia Records. Ooh. So we've got a picture of him actually signing his record deal. And how old is this person? He's 16. So he's legal. That's not nice. <laughs> well, the things I wanted to do to Peter Andre when I was younger weren't pleasant. It's a child, Mike. <laughs> so was I when I wanted to do inappropriate things to Peter Andre. But you're not now. No, I don't want now to do it. Illegal. <laughs> no, he's 16. It's legal. <laughs> Barely 16. Yeah, so it's morally devoid of all sort of like. Oh, it is, Mike. Yeah, it's morally awful, but legally perfectly fine. And he looks like a child. Um, so, yeah, he signed a massive record deal with um, Columbia Records, which is a big, big yeah, record big company. Yeah. Um, and he's kind of like said, um, all the thanks to my dad. I wouldn't be thanking my dad. Well, it, it depends how many blowjobs Peter Andre has done to get him the, the contract, isn't it? Allegedly, Mike. Yeah, allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. So, but Peter Andre is, is, was a sex addict. Pardon? Or was, was that Peter Andre? Yeah, it was Peter Andre, wasn't it? A sex addict. I don't know anything about this. Do you know? No. no, I know he. No, he confirmed it. Did he? I know he had sex with Mel B. Uh huh. Many, many years ago. Yeah. I know he had sex with Jordan. Yeah. Or no, was it Adam Rickett that was the sex addict? Yeah, perhaps get your facts right, Mike. It was one of the two that I wanted to boink. That was it. They both had abs and pecs that oiled yeah, yeah. in the nineties. Yeah. Or was it Craig David? They oh were, my they, god! They, it was. It was one of them I used to spaff over. In your wank bank. So let's get back to the story. So the, these are these are Junior Andre's exact words. Wow. Where do I start? The past six months have been hectic, and I've loved every single second of it. Um, he's been doing some gigs with his dad. We've got a picture of him on stage with Peter. Peter. Mm -hmm. um, Peter. Peter. Um, so he's been getting used to music. Getting used to music. To being like in front of people. Oh, performing. Performing okay. stuff there. 16, Mike. So we, uh, th there is no sort of indication of what style of music Junior Andre mm -hmm. will be having. Um, we've, we've, we've got a picture here to remind ourselves of, you know, your good the times. 90s. Um, of, of, of Mr. Andre in his senior, mm -hmm. in his, high, his heyday. Yeah. Um, I believe that is from Mysterious Girl. It is from Mysterious Girl. He had a very 90s body. He did. Which, he... perversely, is not the kind of guy I know go for. Oh, not now. Not now, no. He, I'm sure that he said in interviews in the past that he was very unwell when mm. keeping that body. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we, we don't know what kind of music. We <laughs> say what kind of body he's done. <laughs> what kind of body he's got now. <laughs> um, we don't know what kind of music. I don't, uh, probably not for me. Probably not for you. Might be for me, you know. Do you think? I, I do listen to some quite hippity hoppity music on occasion. Hippity hoppity. Now hippity you're assuming hoppity. that it's going to be hippity hoppity music. It might not be. It might be operatic. I like operatic. It might be grunge. I like a bit of grunge. It might be drum and bass. Drum and bass. Yes. Like it that. Might, might be, be synth pop. Might, it it might, might be, be just, just candy pop. It might be like swing. It might be K-pop. I like it all types of music. Anything. So it's fine. And I'm assuming that he must actually be able to sing quite well. Yeah. Because Katie Price didn't, did she? No, but Columbia is a, is a big record company. Yeah, were they not with Columbia? 
Who else Katie is that? Price and Andre. Is she? Is she, is she, she doesn't she have a record she, company no, anymore. She focused on the. Oh no! World. Oh. Do you remember that one? Does it not make you feel slightly old that now yes. children of former pop stars are now old enough to be pop stars and singers and stuff? No. What makes me feel old is the fact I'm getting old. <laughs> That's true. And, and that's the end of the, the showbiz news, Mike. Thank you very much for that, Lee. Always good to know that a mysterious girl's going to make a comeback. That wasn't a good song. You're welcome, Mike. Let's stick around as next it's Mike in the buzz. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's have him bring us the buzz. Just realised I'm sat here manspreading. <laughs> yes, please. There's a yes. distinct smell of salt vinegar. Salt vinegar? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's changed. It used to be cheese and onion. Talking of food. Oh, first, yeah. first food story. You're excited already, aren't you? I'm looking for the cloche. It's not here, so I'm okay. Unless I've put it in the cupboard. Oh, I've done that to you before, haven't God. I? Mm -hmm. When you're going on a long journey, do you pack a little, a little pack lunch? No. Do you not? Because there's far, there is enough um, stops. Okay. On the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What if you were on a plane? No, because I would, I would buy on buy on, on the, plane. the plane. Yeah. So you're trapped in a plane, only yeah. able to buy what they're selling. Well, I wouldn't buy it because it would be part of my flight. On oh, no, a short haul, like low cost airline. Oh, I wouldn't bother, Mike. You wouldn't bother. I wouldn't be on the on the plane long enough. I like a bag of wine. I like a bag of wine gums. I don't. <laughs> 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 Looks like you've had a bag Quite of wine. High. <laughs> <laughs> Quite high pitch there. Um, I do enjoy a bag of wine gums in the glove compartment. Okay. Um, <laughs> Getting in the glove compartment to eat just wine there. Gum. And you think, ooh. Oh, right. No, as in the wine gums are in the glove compartment. Yeah. Not you enjoy them in the glove compartment. No, gums. I don't sit in the glove compartment. <laughs> like, so they're going, no. <laughs> I'm very Hello. cramped and here's um, a map. <laughs> that's always quite a nice surprise when you're like, oh, you know, I could do with something to, you know, wet my whistle. And oh, I've got, I've got a packet of, of wine gums. Hello, I'm from the 1940s. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're one of those tin sweets, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> With the icing sugar on yeah. them. Yeah, I love it's it. It's a travel sweet, yeah. Driving gloves. Woo! Uh, yes. Yeah. Icing sugar. Well, oh. Um, oh, this is a story about Ryanair flight. Oh. Okay. Now, not necessarily known for their gourmet cuisine. No. Yeah, because, you know, it's a Ryanair flight. Mm. Okay. And this is a, a story about the woman with the world's saddest bacon sandwich. Oh. Okay, and she paid over four pound seventy for a bacon sandwich. I mean, I would expect like half a pig on there. Well, expect less, as it's literally the tail on one piece, and then another piece. There's no <laughs> butter. There's no butter. There's no sauces. There's no sauces. It's quite it's anemic just... looking bacon. I mean, to be fair, it's not flobby bacon. So sometimes they get like big, great, big flobby rinds of fat on it. Yeah, not which is fine that. if you fry it because it goes crispy and crunchy. And lovely. Yeah, yeah. But not not uncooked. No, no, no. Did, did she complain, Mike? Um, she did complain about it because um, she was expecting it all to have lettuce and so like. Is that what? Is it, did the picture that she ordered had lettuce and stuff on? Yeah, she was expecting it almost like a BLT. Oh, okay. And it was more just a a B ish. Bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Is that what yeah. BLT stands for? Yeah. Okay. Why is that a revelation to you? I have always wondered. What did you think it stood for? I don't know. Bacon. I don't know. <laughs> Bacon loves trade. Oh, well, <laughs> who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> did did is it? Did they give it her on the plane? Yeah, she bought okay. it on the plane. She bought it on the plane. Yeah, and then when she said, "There's no, there's hardly any bacon in there." She went, they went "It's a bacon butter, though, isn't it?" Just press the button, and the air stopped, and the and, and it was <laughs> the like <air> stopped. <laughs> I have to pay extra now for that. You're going to have to pay extra for, for air on right yeah. there anyway, don't you? Did you get a refund? No, she didn't. Did she eat it? She ate it. Well, stop she complaining just then. She just wanted to... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a, a, a forewarning tale of... She could have folded it in half. And still had a tiny bit of bacon. And then, still, and then it would have appeared more than it actually was. But it wasn't. It would still been... I don't know, bacon. Shouldn't be such a cheap bitch then, should she? <laughs> Paid £4.70 for a bacon sandwich. Fly on a proper airline. Fly on British Airways, first class. That's all I do everywhere I go, even if it's going down the road. You only turn left, don't you? 
I'm a what? You only turn left, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, through the curtain. Mm -hmm. Caviar. Ah, caviar. <laughs> oh dear. So, shall we move on? Yeah. As we're talking about things that age you horribly. Okay. Yeah. Um, and this is a, about a young lady who's been on, on Good Morning TV. Oh. Yeah. Um, who, after the, shall we say, the incident with a member of parliament clubbing. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, we covered this the other week. Well, this is a lady who came under fire after saying that everybody over the age of 40 should be banned from nightclubs. You've self-banned. That doesn't count. <laughs> yeah... They're not for the likes of me. <laughs> but you self-banned at 20. So yeah, you can't I've enjoyed a nightclub. No. Um, so, yeah, it's a lady called Talia. Nice name. Yeah, lovely name. Um, basically said that everybody over the age of 40 should be banned. They're for young people. How old is she? Um, she's mid-20s. Mm. Yeah. Um, she said that you know I should be able to feel safe in a nightclub without some old man perving at me. Now, I'm not far off 40. I will not be perving at her in a nightclub. Her boyfriend, probably. Yeah. But her, she's safe. But she's absolutely fine. Yeah, absolutely you push fine. her out of the way to get to the boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Tell her there's buy one, get one free on shots. Well, yeah. Off your pop. Perhaps we should all have, like, um, Logan's Run-style things fitted into our palms. Logan's Run-style things? Have you never seen that film? No. Logan's Run classic film. All okay, about keep age. Say, keep saying Logan's Run. Doesn't mean Does it, it. So what happens in, in, in Logan's Run is that everybody is, at birth is fitted with a like a jewel in your hand. Okay. And it turns colours as you get older. And when you reach 30, mm -hmm. kill you. Oh, okay. Just, that's it. We're both over 30, Lee. I know, we'd be gone straight. But you can escape. <laughs> okay. Into the wilderness. Oh, you wouldn't do very well. No. I'd, I'd probably last a week, but you'd, like 10 days in. No, nah, kill me. No, nah, not having it. <laughs> but she's going to get old. She's going to get old. And then what will happen to her? Yeah, exactly. So she says they're going, she's coming into her prime. She's 22 years old. And she doesn't want to go into a club seeing someone like a dad, a dad's friend, or even my grandparent, grandparents cutting some shapes. Well, what kind of clubs is she going to? Is she going into saga clubs by mistake? I was say, is she going to the bingo? Tea dances. She's going to bingos. <laughs> Can you apply this pumping tune? No. No, we can't. No. I think she's a little bit of a dick. A little bit. Mm. Yeah. But not even a big one. Yeah. The yeah. folly of youth. The folly of youth. <laughs> <laughs> like a withered crone there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a second of our food stories. Okay. Stay. Can you check your cupboard for me? No. Have a look in your cupboard. <laughs> There's nothing there, Mike. There's nothing in there. No, you're right. I was just winding you up. Uh, but this one is a story about people Instagramming their food. Okay. Yeah. So we all know that person that can't go out for a meal without going, let me get my phone out. Don't eat yours yet. I, I've been that person. But do you stop other people eating their food? No. No. And it's those people that I have a problem with. No. So they go, you want to take pictures of your food, love, you crack That's on. That's fine. I'm eating my food now. Mm. Um, well, people have been left confused, concerned worried about what something is after someone shared a picture of their 30 pound meal oh from the top of the london shard the shard, shard. Yeah, so you know the restaurant at the top of the shard yeah it's posh it's posh mm. posh it is um well someone shared a picture of their food and people just can't work out what it is do we have that picture we do indeed what is it then what, you, what else do you think it oh does you want more than one guess i want more than one guess yes it's wrapped in lettuce it's wrapped in lettuce um, it's the main course. Is it um, the foie gras? It's not. It's a chicken breast. Oh, okay. Wrapped yeah. in lettuce. Wrapped in lettuce. Oh, it looks like a looks like a potato. Looks like a potato. Exactly. Mm. How yeah. much did they pay for that? Thirty quid. Did Thirty you say? pound for the main. Just a sing that and that is all they got. That's all they got. No chips. <laughs> no chips. <laughs> no veggie. No. No, no gravy. Bread. No. Oh. Well, that's London. It wouldn't have been gravy, would there? A jus. A jus. That's what it would have been. Yeah. Um, more expensive. <laughs> what, what's the difference between gravy and a jus? About £4.50. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, well, again, mm -hmm. if you go to these fancy places, because you're really paying for the name, not really the food, you know, if you get a chilli con carne baked potato that looks like it's, it's <laughs> really chicken. Actually, turns out to be chicken, yeah. Then so be it. I prefer just drinking the wine. Different strokes for different folks. Drink the wine, eat the bread. The bread's always free on the table. Is it though? Well, yeah, because they expect you to fill up on bread. 
right? And then you eat the food and stuff. And... That never works with me. Because <laughs> I will eat the bread and the food. Yeah, but the thing is, you're then paying for the food. If I'm just eating the bread and drinking the wine, I'm just paying for the wine. Oh, okay. I'll pay for thinking. Oh, okay. But if, you, if you're not just someone that drinks wine all the time and you want to interact with us on social media, it's at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv and on YouTube we're under Chewing the Cud. And now we have our story of the week. So Lee, when people transition from one gender to another, okay. they choose their name. Yes. Yes, and they have a dead name and a new name. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a, a very heartwarming and lovely story. Okay. A little bit of a smile at the end. And this is the story that was shared by Shenki No Reason to Live, which was, my parents just told my nine-year-old brother that he should call me by my chosen name instead of my birth name. My father said, so birth name won't be said anymore. And his first response was, so like Darth Vader isn't called Anakin Skywalker anymore. Our chosen names are just our Sith names. Welcome to the dark side. Oh. Which I thought was a lovely way of explaining it. Yeah, it's very cute. It's very cute. Kids understand far more than we give them credit for. Mm -hmm. I just thought that was a lovely way of ending the buzz this week. Oh, thank you, Mike. That's slightly warmed the rock that is my cold, dead heart. Oh, rock. Sorry, I misheard. <laughs> Stick around. As coming up, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we're going to be playing Uza Kazoo. So Mike, can you get your enormous heft to the area, please? <laughs> Off you go. I'm not giving birth. Game of the week. The rules are quite simple. Mike will make a noise through a kazoo and it should resemble a song that I can guess. Are you ready, Mike? <laughs> I know this one. Uh -huh. It's um, the Wombles of Wimbledon. It is the Womble theme tune. Well done. Ooh. I think I'm going to win this one. You do? Okay. Yeah. Is it because I know the tunes? No, because... <laughs> Next one. Is it mm -hmm. Madonna? Uh huh. Material Girl. It is Material <gasps> Girl. Yes. Good in My cunny flies over the ocean. <laughs> what does what? Is that not the word? My cunny flies <laughs> over the ocean. No. Stop saying that word. Is it not? I thought that's what it was. Uh, I'm on the... My cunny flies Stop over saying the cunny. ocean. Because it sounds like, like you've old... been using it as a euphemism for something. <laughs> that's that's like an old old fashioned name. It's not my cunny flies over the ocean. Have I got any of that right? You have some of it right. I can't do it with that, because I've always thought it was that word. Right, okay, so that's wrong then. Oh! Bonnie lies over the ocean. Bonnie! Lies over the ocean. F not Connie, li Connie flies over not the ocean. Not Connie flying over the ocean, <laughs> the ancient sea chanty. <laughs> well, I've learnt something new. Yeah, you have indeed. <laughs> right. <laughs> I have not a clue. Is it is it a television theme? The song. The song. Mm -hmm. Do it again. Mm -hmm. 
Is it a new song, a modern song? Nope. I don't know. It was Heroes by David Bowie. Oh, it did not sound like it. No, it doesn't because it's through a kazoo. Yeah, but the others sounded more. Yeah, because like they were quite simple songs. Yeah. It could be heroes. <laughs> <laughs> So you do know it then? Yeah, now. Yeah, now. now. Well, not when you were singing now. it. It's difficult, isn't it? It is, mate. It is, yeah. Yeah, but do, do slightly remember? more so for you than it was for me. Yeah. So, just saying. I can hold a tune. Ready for the next one? Yeah. Is it? Uh-huh. Uh, 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 uh. Um, not birds of a feather. No. <laughs> not birds of a feather, no. Not the thing to birds of a feather. That's what I do when you <laughs> are far. No, away. don't push the song out of my head. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll do birds of a feather. Do, do, do. Oh, we've been buzzed. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 Only fools Oh, I was going to say do. that. Oh. Pigs. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Is it from Dad's Army? What is it? Um, um, what is it from Dad's Army? The theme tune from Dad's Army. It is Army. the theme tune from Dad's Army. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, Dad's Army had lots of musical numbers. Oh, are kidding, Mr. Hitler. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Can he fly over the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> I don't know that. It helps if you actually. I'm just giving you a tip. Uh -huh. It helps if you actually say the words. No, I'm doing into the, tune. the kazoo. No, I'm doing the word. I'm not doing the words. I'm doing the tune. I'll have to do it again. With the words. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, don't I know. even went for the original version, because I know you wouldn't see the most well, recent version, it's quite a bit upbeat and tempo y. It's the theme from Home and Away. That sounded nothing like it. No, it didn't sound anything like it. No, I'm not having that. It's... You were just going... No. That's what I'm doing now. No, 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 I'm, no. I'm not having it. That's, that's a point to me. <laughs> it's really not. Okay, this one's a song. Okay. From the 90s. Okay. Narrowing it down, because I'm just going to get it told you. Just going... What is it then, Lee? It's, I thought that I heard you smiling. <laughs> do, 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 that one, but it doesn't sound like what, it. What, what's the name of the song? That's me in the corner. That's me in the spotlight. 
Losing my religion. What's the song called? Losing my religion. By R.E.M. You can have that point because it was work for you. Yeah, although it didn't sound anything like the song. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Troubles are all the same. You wanna go where everybody knows your name. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's the um, theme tune to Cheers. It is indeed, yeah. Oh! Yeah, I picked, I picked a, 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 an era now. Yeah. Yeah, the late 80s and 90s. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but I was enjoying it. <laughs> London Calling. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing one more. <laughs> right, now, here's the, here's the fun thing. I have a, something on the card that I can do multiple versions of. Oh. <laughs> because I'm a geek. It's the theme tune to something then. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's a theme tune to something. Theme tune to some geek program. Yeah. Oh, Star Trek. Which one? That that one with um, Jean Luc Picard. Nope. The one with the one with the big hairdo. <laughs> the first one. The second one. The film version. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> um, it was Voyager. <laughs> Into Star Trek Voyager. Okay. Yeah. I got it right though, because it was Star Trek. Um, <sighs> You're better at theme tunes than you are at actual pop songs. No, I think you'll find that I'm better at the, the kazoo than you just don't Whatever. understand tunes. Whatever. Whatever. But yeah, I've gone long, long enough now. Okay. Thank you for that, Mike. Thank you for your cunning linguist skills. Stay with us, because after this break, it's that science that is. back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to the man who some say is like a young Marie Curie. It's Mike and that's science that is. That science that is. A who? Hmm. Marie Curie. Sorry I had a windy pops then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I could get it out before it cut back to me. Marie Curie. All right, okay, it's just the way he said it the first time, it sounded a bit weird. The young Marie Curie. A young Marie Curie. He said, the way he said Curie just sounded weird. Okay. Yeah, but anyway. Um, it's a good job you've got Windy Pops because we're going to use that today because we're all about gases. Oh. Because I know you like gas. I am gas. Oh, I said something there. Um, and what, what we're going to do is we're going to blow up balloons. Amazing. Yeah, don't, don't be snarky. I'm not Mike. Yeah, okay, miss. Yeah. Where's the fire? Where's the flames? Because you, you're always talking about running out of puff. I'm thinking about ways I can get you some puff. It's just straight back to high, sc uh, high school. Bad puff. No. I wasn't being homophobic. It was about out, out of breath. Okay. Okay. And the way we're going to blow up balloons is with carbon dioxide. All right. Can you just use your mouth? Just use your mouth. What, do you want to just try and blow up a balloon? Yeah. Have you laced it with something? No. Effort. Yeah. Effortless. Eff no, it had effort in it. Well, slight effort. Yeah. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to use science to blow up our balloons for us. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was just my internal scream. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Stuff you get me to doing during Crafty Queens. <laughs> <laughs> pushing paint around under cling film the other day. <laughs> right. So Come on, get on with it. I want to go home. <laughs> so the first thing we need to do is fill our, one of our balloons with bicarb. Okay. okay. So you should have a balloon in a funnel. Yep. Yep. And you want to put the balloon on the funnel 
It is already done for Oh, me. someone's done it for you already. Aren't they lovely? Mm. Unlike your crafty queens where you make me struggle. Right, and then you just want to put a couple of teaspoons of bicarb into the funnel. Okay. And ergo into the balloon. Just two? Um, I'd say a good three, maybe four. Okay. What's that going to be having some sort of like Colombian party? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's bicarbly. Okay, now when you remove the funnel, mm -hmm. yeah, from the balloon, we're going to put the, the neck of the balloon around this bottle with the clear liquid. And the wow. clear liquid is vinegar. Okay. Okay. Now, so we're going to put the balloon neck around the neck of the bottle. Now, okay. okay. Now, when you do it, before you do, okay, you need to make sure that the powder doesn't go into the bottle mm -hmm. until it's fully sealed. Okay. Okay. However you wish to try and do that, that's up to you. Okay. I put a little twist in the neck so it doesn't go in. Okay. And then you just want to get the powder to fall into the bottle in the balloon. Just tip it up. Just tip it up. Oh, I don't like it! You don't like it? Why? Look, it's filling oh, up. Oh, it's yeah. filling up, Mike. Yeah. How exciting is that? It immediately became tumorescent in my hand. And that's not, <laughs> that's not a feeling I've had for a very long time. <laughs> which stunned me slightly. Good that, isn't it? See, we've just inflated this balloon just with a chemical reaction. It, it is. Yeah. Does that work on other things? Like what? Like penises. Does... If I ingested... Bicarbonate vinegar. Bicarbonate of soda and then sucked on some wood that... No. Sucked on some what? No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, is the answer. Okay. okay. That's the first time, that is genuinely the first time any of this has ever impressed me. Okay, <laughs> good. I'm glad that's the truth. Okay. <laughs> so we've got one done. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to let my... Oh! Do we need to keep the balloon for something else? No, no, you can let it go. <laughs> Do not breathe in the fumes that come off. Woo! Oh, 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 and all the, all the powder went poof. Ooh. It did, you didn't empty your balloon like you were instructed. Oh, but no. Oh. Mm. Hey, that failed, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, so that's the first one. So you can pop your, your liquid away. Okay. Don't inhale the gas, it's just carbon dioxide. You will die. You won't die. You'll suffocate. Now, I have prepared one here for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which is a commonly known beverage that's brown and may or may not rhyme with hoka hola. Dandelion and burdock. Yes. Nice. Okay. And in your balloon at the top, there are two little things or one little thing. Yeah. Which mm. we're, just for the sake of not branding, we're going to call hentos. Oh. Okay. And what we're going to do is drop the hentos into the hoka hola. That feels very much like when I self-examine myself. Mm -hmm. Now the thing is, because the Coca-Cola is already gassy, my balloon is already starting to inflate. Mine isn't. Yours is limp. Yeah. So mine is like a ticking time bomb. Oh. At any point, the Hentos could drop into the Coca-Cola, mm. right, and then set off reaction. But if you want to wiggle yours through, just get the the Hento. The Hento. Hento. Yes. Into the into the, the Coca-Cola. Ho -ho -ho uh-huh. So you might need to give it a bit of a tease and a bit of a push. Oh, it's wedged, Mike. Oh, is it wedged? It's like that last bit of sweet corn after a, a pizza. What you just bubbles? can't get out. I'm struggling. Oh, right. Okay, I've done it. Oh. oh. It's not as reactive, is it? No. Why do you think that is, Lee? Um, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> is it because the Coca-Cola is not fresh? The, co the ho ho hola <gasps> is fresh. Sorry, the ho 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 hola. The ho ho hola is fresh, yes. Is the, is the hento? The hento? The hento, is yes. that not strong enough? No, it's, I'm just replacing the first letter with a H. Yeah. Just so you work out what I'm, okay. how I'm renaming the yes. brands of yes. cola and mento there. Um, if you take, if you point it towards your face. 
I don't think I would like to do that, Mike. <laughs> and then quickly remove the, the balloon. I don't think I would like to do that, Mike. You don't think you'd like to do that? No, I would like to see you do it first. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, it's stiff. <laughs> Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Your Something's turn. gonna happen when I do it, isn't it? You've swapped it. Would I find a way of shooting sticky brown liquid all over your face? So what do I do? Just remove the balloon. Can we get a cleaner ready, please? Nothing. Nothing. Do you know why that is? Because life's a disappointment and this is just another one. This is exactly it, yes. It, it's, it's got a, a reaction um, deficit disorder. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the had? reason why um, Hoka-Hola and Hentos, I know I did it then, um, react so violently normally, okay, is because it's going into a full bottle and there is nowhere for the gas to escape. Oh. Okay, but the gas that we produced isn't that strong and it isn't that much. Oh. So even with two hentos in Hoka Hola, it doesn't expand the balloon. Did you never actually do it by, when you were a child by putting them, them hentos in your mouth and then drinking the Hoka Hola? Would you like to try that now? Frothing it out. No, because it, it's not fizzy enough. You it have can... to have like a can of Hoka Hola. Okay. And a hinto. Okay. Straight in your mouth. Okay. Whoa. Are we ready for the magic of science? Oh. Wow. So there you go. You have a you have some hoka hola and a hento. Okay. Off you pop. Now, do I chew it or do I just put it in? I my don't know. You said it was something you used to do as a kid, not me. I didn't because we didn't have hentos. Okay. They weren't they weren't around. We had um, extra strong mints. Okay. Well, pop it in. See what happens. Did you not have Diet Coke? No. Nothing. Oh. Not, a, not hardly a froth. Not hardly a froth. <laughs> well, that's interesting, but that's science, that is. Science, that is. <laughs> That's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye.